Welcome back for our second restorative practice. Now, as I mentioned last week, restorative practices are wonderful to help ease the body and the mind, especially when we are in a more hyperactive state, either mentally, physically, or both. These grounding and nourishing poses will instantly help to soothe the body, the mind, as well as the heart. So we're going to start our practice today directly in a reclined butterfly pose. And we're gonna do this using some pillows underneath the legs. If you have a longer pillow, like a bolster, you can use that as well. Or you could optionally have two pillows here. So firstly, lower yourself down to the ground and make sure that you have your props available, your blanket, and maybe an additional pillow. So you're going to open up your knees here to the side and preferably resting the outer part of the knees and the outer part of the thighs down onto that pillow. Your feet can roll open to the side. And then take a blanket over your body if you'd like, or maybe just over the low belly to keep that area nice and warm. You could also have a second pillow, that heavy weight onto the low belly. And already here, feel your body instantly relaxing, the energy settling down, slowing down. Your arms can relax to the side or maybe onto your belly if that feels good. Now as we are settling into this first pose, allow every part to deeply relax, noticing if you are holding on to any unnecessary tension. Can we allow ourselves to drop even more into the ground? Softening the muscles and the joints even more. This practice is all about inviting deep relaxation and no activity. So make sure that the breath is also very soft and gentle. You can allow the breath to be just natural, more onto the shallow side. permission to take this time. Simply being here now. Feeling that it's okay to just relax. in these states of deep relaxation that also deep healing can take place. Here, 
slowly come out of this first pose. And keep your eyes closed a little bit longer. And just gently stretch out your legs down forward. And your pillow onto the belly, the side for a moment. And then bring your bolster or the pillows that you have under the knees and see if you can slide that over to the right side of your left. Now from here, we're going to come in to a supported rotation. So step the left foot in, push into the foot, twist a little bit into the hips. See if you can now place the lower leg onto those pillows or onto the bolster. Now please observe here, you want this practice to be gentle, so if this feels too low for you, maybe you take an additional pillow or an additional blanket and tuck that underneath the knee so that you can just gently release and drop that leg there. And then you're going to Extend your arms, both of them, to the side. Just keep your neck in center. Try to now fully draw into the arms, into that left leg. Now optional here is to take your cushion, your head, your pillow, and place that onto the outer track of the left leg around the knee area just to help to hold the leg in place. And let's see if you can stretch your arms out to the side, just keeping your neck in center. And try to find some relaxation here. Fully softening into the legs, into the arms. Just welcoming this gentle rotation for the spine. Allow yourself to, again, just become heavier.
rotation. Just take that pillow if you have one. And we are trying to move to the side. Extend the left leg. Stepping both feet in here for a moment. And then take that long position or if you have a couple of pillows over to the other side of your mat. And before we come into the other side, just take your knees, just take your feet a little wider apart and begin to do a couple of windshield wipers here. Coming from side to side. Let's 
stepping both feet in once more, taking those feet a little bit wider and just create some soft windshield wipers going a little bit from side to side. those windshield wipers. Let's roll over to the side of our mat. Come all the way up to the seated position. And then take a longer cushion or a couple of pillows that you can prop up underneath the upper back. Take an additional prop that you can support the back of your head with. So we're going to come into a little heart opening pose here. You can lay down your upper back onto the bolster or whatever pillows you have. The back of the, the, back of the head is supported as well. Make sure that the props you have underneath the upper back now doesn't feel too high, but that you can just gently create an opening here through the chest, through the shoulders. And then extend those legs forward. Your blanket can stay there around the low belly. Allow your feet to roll open. Letting your arms be nice and heavy. As you now sink into the pillows, feel that you can welcome this nice, gentle opening around the heart. Taking the time to Relax around the heart. Let go of any tightness or heaviness that you might feel here. As you relax, you to feel yourself inviting peace, more love, more kindness. Support your knees. 
and have additional pillow or blanket available for our last pose. You're gonna lower down once more. And you can bring your knees into the chest for a moment here, just rocking a little bit from side to side. Then we're going to come back to the Parita Karani, which we did yesterday in the practice, just the legs floating over the hips. See if you can take the edge of the pillow, bring those feet down, lift those hips up, and then take the edge of the pillow and support that around the sacrum area, tailbone area. And see if you can just lift the legs up, keeping the legs slightly bent, where you can find a comfortable position for you now to just hover the legs over the hips. Very rejuvenated pose for the legs, but also for the nervous system. Soothing for the mind.